Hey guys, I'm Anthony with Videvo, and today we're going to be talking about directing talent on camera for an interview. Now we see a lot of tutorials online about how to shoot, light, camera placement, and things like that when it comes to shooting interviews, but we don't see a lot of how to direct them. And that's the key point of getting great answers and great videos out of your subjects. So today we're going to be going over a few tips to improve your directing on camera and getting the best answers possible. Let's get into it. So today I am joined by my good friend Will. He has over 20 years experience as a working musician and he's gonna sub in for us today as our on-camera talent and he'll be answering our questions for an interview. First tip is to research the subject and the information that you're gonna be interviewing about. So for instance, if you're interviewing someone who has experience in drumming and musical background and performing, you wanna find out when they got started, all the bands they've been in, all of the uh, instruments that they may use or notable accomplishments that they may have that they wanna talk about in relation to the video. As a director, doing your research is important to the project and making sure that you cover the subject matter adequately. Additionally, this creates some common ground between you and the subject that you're interviewing on camera and can get you more authentic, more genuine, and honestly, just better answers in the interview process. So, Will, you played your first show in a community gymnasium with some of your friends, playing some covers, some original music that you wrote back then. Um, how, do, how do you look back upon that, that time, that first show? Um, yeah, still horrified. Uh, stage fright was definitely a factor back then. Um, had no idea what, what I was doing. Uh, you know, when things went really well, you get that rest of adrenaline, you get that just satisfaction of like, we nailed this. And then other times, you know, it's like, that did not go like it did in rehearsal. Like, why, why, why are my friends, what are they going to think? What's, what's going on here? Like, that experience was, was absolutely mortifying. Your next tip also starts before the cameras even get rolling, and that's preparing your questions ahead of time. You'll want to think through all the questions that you're wanting to ask in the time frame that you have the interview subject available, so you know that you're getting the questions relevant to the project and the purpose of what you're shooting. As you write down these questions, you want to keep in mind the time frame that you're going to be shooting this in, because you may want to ask a dozen or two dozen questions, but only have a time frame of 30 minutes. So really nail these down to the questions that are going to be relevant and specific to the project at hand. So for young ones who maybe want to be aspiring professional musicians, what's a good tip that you, you would give them if they want to get their start in music? Uh, when I was uh, coming up, when I was a, a kid, uh, I, you know, I, I didn't know, you know, at all, like what it was going to be like to be on stage. And so we would, uh, we would go to, we'd be in rehearsing and we would... You'll also want to send these questions to your subject ahead of time. This will allow them to prepare their answers and give you clearer, more concise answers rather than rambling on forever about maybe certain parts of that question that you didn't really need answers to. Finally, we'll move on to a tip that actually takes place while the camera is rolling, and that is taking notes. It's important to take notes during the interview process because you want to be able to refer back to questions and answers that the subject made during the interview process in case you want to follow up, expand on something, or get something rephrased. So in a previous answer, you talked about seeing a band that had like a lot of attitude, a lot of like throwing energy around. Do you incorporate that kind of music style in your own performances? One is just fun, uh, but two, it's very, very important. You kind of have to, you have to act a little bit and, you know, imagine what do people want to see. Um, and typically, uh, I found that people enjoy seeing people enjoy what they're doing. Uh, so to, to move your body, to be completely convinced, completely into what you're doing is very, very important. Um, and that energy definitely communicates to a quality experience uh, for the audience. Additionally, this will make things a lot easier in editing if you're able to refer back to your notes for specific answers that you really liked while you were conducting the interview, rather than having to watch back a 30 or an hour long or even two hour long interview just to find that one little sound bite that you knew would make it to the final cut. It's easy to let an interview subject just ramble on for a specific question, but you wanna be really efficient with the time that you have the subject for. So instead of chasing rabbits and just wasting time while they're on camera, you want to get the clearest, concisest answers that you can get. An easy way to do this is just let them finish their given answer and then take the specific thing that you liked about that answer and ask them to rephrase that in a more concise way. So Will, you kind of talked about the importance of art in a community. Could you just shorten that up a little bit and tell us about the importance of that? Art in the community. 
uh, creates a, a common space to, to bond and to actually form the community. So I'd say that pretty much art is what uh, brings people together to form community. I didn't know what it was going to be like to be on stage. That experience was, was absolutely mortifying. You get that rest of adrenaline, you get that satisfaction of like, nailed this! And you have to act a little bit, and, you know, imagine what do people want to see. Uh, and typically, uh, I found that people enjoy seeing people enjoy what they're doing. Completely convinced, completely into what you're doing is very, very important. Um, and that energy definitely communicates to a quality experience uh, for the audience. Art in the community creates common space to, to bond and to actually form the community. Pretty much art is what uh, brings people together to form community. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Anthony with Videvo. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram. And until next time, I'll see you later.